OMG. I thought this was the winter box the whole time, but I think it's the fall box. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Winter Bombade Cedar Box. This is the seasonal lifestyle subscription that they have. They also offer a monthly subscription. I think they still have a beauty subscription. And sometimes you can also get mystery boxes from them. And Miss Jackie Russell has had great success out of the mystery boxes that she's gotten from Bombade Cedar. So you can go check out some of her videos that she's done in maybe her this and that videos or where she unboxes those kinds of mysteries because they really do pack a bunch in those mystery boxes. It's incredible. The seasonal lifestyle box is $84.95 a quarter. It does have free shipping in the US. I'm not sure what the shipping cost is if it's out of the US. You are expected to get at least a $225 value. You get full size products and each box will come with a variety of items. They usually put beauty items in here, home goods items in here, some kind of creative art project or DIY project or some kind of fun project for you guys to do. They mix it up every single time. I do appreciate that aspect of the Bombay and Cedar boxes. And everything in their box is vegan and cruelty free. Isn't that right, Snow? <laughs> Let's find out what's in this winter season's box. They do allow you to customize uh, several items in your box as long as you're checking your emails and everything. It takes them a while to get their boxes out to you, so I always forget what I've picked by the time it comes. And sometimes I miss their email and don't get to choose everything in the box. So we'll see how much I remember <laughs> picking from this time. I am seeing paper. Actually, I'm not remembering a lot of this stuff, so this will be a fun unboxing. The first thing I'm seeing is from Nectar, and I believe these are gonna be glasses. It's not my first pair from them. The sunshades. Okay, sometimes I get blue light glasses or other kinds, but these just look like regular sunshades. What do you think? Do they look good? I've been needing a new pair of sunshades, so maybe this will be a good fit for me. Possibly. Usually we get a product guide and it'll have pictures of all the items, not just the items you received, but also the items and values of the items that you didn't receive. And that way I could total up and give you a full value, but there's no product guide in here that I've seen. So we're just gonna have to go through the items and I'll try to see if I can find a digital one online after I'm done, or maybe I'll come across it. I don't know, but I am a little bummed about that because I do like to have the product guide to explain what the items are in case for some reason I was missing a reference or wasn't quite sure what an item was, but we'll just have to wing it. So this time the snack that we got is a chocolate chip crispy treat and it's seed based because remember everything in here is vegan and cruelty free. This will be a yummy treat to try. The next item, ooh, flashy elastic band set. There's six of them in here. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I think it's another way to keep your packages sealed and closed instead of just using chip clips all the time. It says you've been thunder stuck. This is interesting. Like in the example right here, it shows you that it's closing up a bag of pasta. Maybe you'll be able to see it better on the back part of it. Like it's closing up a package of pasta, closing up a package of rice, and then is that more pasta up there? I can't tell. Oh, <laughs> that was coffee. That's interesting. So it goes all the way around it to keep it secure. I'm actually gonna be able to get use out of this. So that is fun. I've never seen anything like that. This is something that I love about Bombay and Cedar is their uniqueness. They do a fantastic job of finding unique products that you don't see regularly in other boxes. Sometimes we'll see products that we see in other subscriptions, but I've never seen anything like this before. I've never even seen anything like this at a store, but I mean, maybe because I only shop at basic stores, but I'm so excited about this. I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but I'm excited about it. The next item. Looks like it's a pillowcase. 100% silk satin pillowcase set. 
with an eye mask. So it is gonna be just a single pillowcase, a single eye mask. It does feel nice and silky and smooth, so that's good. Probably a standard size pillowcase. Nice cream color. I do wish that it had two pillowcases in here, you know, so that way both sides of my bed could match, but at least it did give us one with a little eye mask set. All right, the next item is actually really big and heavy. It's the Super Fun Times Vegan Holiday Cookbook. Interesting, I don't have a lot of vegan recipes. I'm not a vegan person, but I have had some vegan food before or just food that is considered vegan and it's still very good. It's not a lifestyle that I think I would ever choose to live full time but I don't mind having some vegan meals here and there. And it also may be something that I end up gifting down the line if I feel like it's something I won't get a lot of use out of. But I think it's worth a flip through to see how I feel about the recipes that are in here. Wow, they put a lot of work in here. I mean, like there's a ton of recipes. How many pages? 423 pages of recipes. And then there's more pages after that, which has like an index and acknowledgements and stuff like that. That's a lot. Wow, so I wonder if that's considered our activity. I guess I could see how it would be because you would have to do the cookie in order to get use out of the product. I think it might be the first cookbook that we see. And it makes sense that it's vegan with it being a vegan and cruelty free box. So at least they have kept the theme and stuff going along there. All right, the next thing that I see is a bottle wrapped up. Hyaluronic Botanical Facial Serum. I don't recognize this brand, but obviously it's going to be vegan and cruelty free. And maybe it's gonna have like a pump up here to pump the serum to you. So it's a different way to get a serum. Usually I'm used to the squeezy tube ways or where it has like the dropper dropler, the little droplet thingy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right, the next thing in here, we have sock pairs. <laughs> sock pairs, that's so cute. No more pairing, no more time wasting pairing socks. So you clip them together, put them in the washer, and then you hang them to dry. Obviously, I don't think you could put these in the dryer, just the washer. That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at the back of that package. How many does it have in here? It looks like there's six sock pairs in here. So you could have six pairs of socks at a time in the washer that you keep together. I don't know if that's something I'll use or not. It might be something that I use, but we'll have to see. A lot of the times when I can't find the other match is because the kids didn't put their other sock in the wash. So maybe this will be a way for them to connect their socks before they put them in the wash, but I only have six. So I don't know. I don't know how practical it'll be for our family, but I do think it's a really neat idea. It might work for other people. The last thing in here is this box. So let's just get it out. I'm really bummed that there's no product card in there. I would love to see the value and the other items that I missed out on that weren't chosen. Because honestly, I don't remember choosing any of this. I don't know what's happening to my emails. I didn't know what to expect, but I definitely didn't expect this. It's like this really beautiful, I'm gonna say it's a decor tray, something that I could set maybe on my shelf back here and put stuff on top of it. I think that's what it's for, or to put it on a table and you could decorate stuff on it, maybe put candles in here or sometimes people put greenery and stuff in here. There's a lot of things that can be done with it, but, I'm, <laughs> but I don't know what I would do with it. I'm still very new to the decor game, as you guys know. I will get use out of that. That is something that I could use, especially when I'm trying to style up my shelves, because right now they're just super basic. I mean, I've got my Harry Potter books. I can't even find my bookends that I was using for over there. I don't know what happened to them. and. This painting that I painted myself, I was gonna give it away as a Christmas present for my dad, but the acrylic parts, they like cracked too much. And so I decided to just keep it. It looks good long distance. From a long point of view, it looks pretty good. Then there's the lantern I have over there. I did change the picture up here to my favorite castle in Germany. 
I can't pronounce the name though. It starts with an N. I do know the name of it, I just can't pronounce it. The lantern over here, my penguin painting that I painted, and my Beauty and the Beast rose, and then this cool candlestick here. I like that it's next to the Beauty and Beast thing. It kind of gives me Lumiere vibes. That's what I got going on on my shelves. I do want to change up some of it to make it not look so bare, maybe a little bit more put together. So this might be something I could add to it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I want to check to see if I can find prices because that's insane that I don't have any prices for it. It says that the fall lifestyle boxes are still actively shipping. I'm like, is this the fall box? I don't think so. I think this is the winter box. I'm pretty sure it says the winter boxes are shipping in January. But now I don't know. When did I get this box? Did I get it at the beginning of January or did I get it in December? OMG. I thought this was the winter box the whole time, but I think it's the fall box. Whoa, because my last one I posted was in September and it was the summer box. So this is the this is the fall box. I had no idea. So I'm going to be getting another one this month if they're just now starting to actively ship the January ones. That's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. Sometimes shipping does get behind and it happens to subscriptions all the time. So I'm not really that surprised, but I thought I had got all my fall boxes. Wait. Maybe I put them in a group one. Did I group them in a video? Sometimes I group my seasonal boxes in multiple videos. I need to check to see if that happened too. Uh, no, because I don't think I've done a huge unboxing in a while. I wish I had a product guide. The product card would tell me exactly what box it was. There would be no question. I have to move on. I have to leave in an hour to go to work at the school, so I'm just gonna have to wrap up this video. Let me know what you thought of these items. I actually really enjoyed most of the items. I'll get use out of, I'll get use out of this, and this, and the snack seems good, the glasses. This is unique, and like the pillowcase is nice. Like all of it I thought was a pretty good selection. Let me know your thoughts down below. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.